who could be a bigger asshole than Dinesh D'Souza and his wife, Debbie, uh, tag teaming? Um, just very upset. Uh, but Don Jr., who, of course, uh, is outraged that we're helping Ukraine and nothing for Americans. Now, uh, before we watch this, I have not watched this, and we'll we'll share it together. Uh, <clears throat> uh, just so you know, the Republicans are um, holding up a vote on more COVID business aid for small for for American businesses and and taxpayers to force a vote um, on another bill. So what's being what's been voted on as far as help for Ukraine is not the be all end all, and a lot of this has to do with the lend lease, like the how much stuff we can share because Biden can use the lend lease thing, but they've got to argue about how much and from where. So that's where the thirty three billion is going to come from. But yeah. Meanwhile, um, uh, Koki McCoke Dupperson, um. Or Cam oh. Reed for Again. people with reading difficulties. Could there be a more perfect ad on uh, on a Don Jr. <laughs> video? Honestly. For some people, reading can be a challenge. With uh, I'm trying to pause it and it won't let me. Or Cam Reed, just point and click. The works of Isaac Newton. Read for school. Read a recipe. Peel and finally chop the onion. Read a magazine. Peel and finally chop the onion. I don't like anything you want. Orcam Read makes reading simple. Available now at orcam.com. We do it. You're not reading. Well, guys, it's hard to find baby food. Sorry, it's hard to find baby food. Well, guys. Well, guys. <clears throat> Uh, there's, in case you don't know, there's a baby food shortage of specific brands, specifically ones that um, are hypoallergenic or whatever. They're starting to ration them. Um, they're at 40 to 50 percent stock in three states, mostly red states, um, and, which has a lot to do with where they buy it from and how many kids need it in those states. And there might be a, another uh, question about Dow Chemical in Alabama that we could talk about later. But there was a plant in Michigan that was uh, temporarily shut down because... They found um, salmonella and uh, chronobacter, which is a, a bacteria. Four children were made uh, very ill who ate solid formula from this particular plant. One died and another in the initial, and then there was another one that died later. So they did a total recall on the, on, on the baby formula specifically from this particular plant, and they had to throw out a bunch of it and start from scratch. Uh, and they had to clean the plant first, and they detected the coronobacteria and salmonella in non-food preparation areas, meaning that when more than likely these cases started to show up, the company went through and and sanitized the whole thing before the inspector showed up, but didn't bother to do the outer offices. So the very coronobacteria that got into the food, got into the kid, was found in the lobby, essentially, in the offices, in the outer offices, because they didn't do a big deep clean there. Right. And that's, uh, yes, um, that's salmonella to you. Right. So, um, they're trying to catch up with that. The FDA is working with them to get them back online, but there's been, you know, shortages of materials, uh, and, and like, because of, uh, lack of, uh, uh, like labor, like, you know, employees literally that were off because of COVID put them behind and then hiring new people has been hard on top of that. That's that slowed down the production of it. The FDA is, and I quote, working 24-7 on it um, with this company to get them back online. It's hard. It's hard. What he's, uh, what happened in Koki McCokerson's brain is that people are hoarding some types of baby food because there are limited supplies and that's exacerbating the limited supply. And he's got the word hoard stuck in his fucking dome when he's trying to say the word hard because that's not a word he gets to use very often. To find baby formula 
in the United, no, it United States of America, right? No, it's not. Uh, there are specific kinds that are limited because of this particular plant. Now, it's the year 2022, and there's a shortage of baby formula, but that will not stop Democrats from weighing a plan to send $40 billion to the Ukraine. $40 billion so that we can continue. What, what the fuck? How are these related? Well, well I'm sorry. Would that $40 billion uh, speed up production at farms or transportation to this particular plant or get it back online? Uh, I, I'll have you know that plant could probably be back online um, a week faster if, I don't know, so, some rando millionaire said, hey guys, here's $5 million. Do a, a top to tails clean of the place so you can get back online. I'll pay for it. Five million bucks. I don't even know if it'll cost that much. But some rich asshole who's, who apparently has money to blow, no pun intended, could clearly give them that money and get them back online. The only reason they can is because of their fiduciary duty to the people that our investors in are owners of the company. And then, of course, the rules that the FDA puts forward about what they can and can't do in that time. But you could probably shorten that. If you think throwing money at it would do it, it's not going to be anywhere near $40 billion. You could do it with a couple of million. Knock yourself the fuck out. Continue the proxy war with Russia. You know. No. Oh, all right. So it's, he's doing the Jimmy Dore talking point now. Nuclear superpower. One so because they're a nuclear superpower, we're allowed to, we're, we're supposed to let them just rape and murder all they want. That's, that's what you got. Whoever has the biggest gun can just get away with it because the other person with a big gun doesn't want to pull the trigger on theirs. Wonderful plan. What the fuck are you reading? So how long till we figure out that this money is just sort of a, a stop, a transit stop uh, of your money, of your hard earned taxpayer dollars? Uh, that will get sent back to corrupt Ukrainian officials, corrupt American officials, people making decisions. How long till that happens? Uh, never. Because a lot of it's going in in humanitarian relief to the actual uh, Ukrainians that are in Poland and these other countries, and they dole it out through NGOs and government outreach there. And then our military, uh, that goes. some of it goes into our budget where we give them stuff. And that stuff is part of those billions of dollars. So it does, there's, there's, I'm just saying there aren't going to be a lot of uh, tanks and F-15s parked at Biden's lake house, you fucking tool. Because maybe it's time for actual diplomacy. Maybe it's time to not start World War Three with Russia by continuing to fund these things. Oh, I see. So that that's, that's what will stop them. If we just let them have Ukraine... And force them to to the the table with what? Oh, nothing. Just letting them have everything. Because the Russians have, A, they poisoned people at the very first peace talks. They had a spy at the second one. And ever since then, they've said, our demands are, give us the entire eastern side of the country, um, all the way to Odessa, to Transnistria, which is not a real fucking country. It's a sliver between Moldova and Ukraine. Uh, that they fucking claimed and made up again. And then what we'll do is we'll just salami slice the way across the country later on, like we did with Crimea. Because you know how, like when we invaded Donbass and, and uh, Luhansk and, and Donetsk and Crimea, and we're like, yeah, but that's, we're just going to stop there. And we didn't stop there. Yeah, we're going to stop where you, you give us half the country and then we'll just stop there again. Also, we're going to threaten Finland and Sweden for joining NATO. Maybe it's time. Maybe. Maybe you're a fucking dumbass. <clears throat> Maybe um, you're worried that Deutsche Bank money is drying up. I don't want to talk crazy now. Maybe it's time we actually put America first. Why don't we maybe take that $40 billion of your money, right? This isn't government money. It's your money. Mm-hmm. And let's... And just let the people of Ukraine get raped and murdered and shoveled into mass graves and let Russia uh, claim the largest uh, grain fields and oil and gas reserves in on the European side, um, just like they claim parts of Georgia and Chechnya, and just let that happen and just hope they don't go into Poland next time. I mean, they seem trustworthy. They, they seem nice. They're piling their own soldiers 
in in a dump. But I'm sure once they stop fighting in that area and just claim those areas as their own, they'll treat everyone else with dignity and respect and be good world citizens and won't move some of those nukes you're talking about closer to other countries. Like, I don't know, hunger and homelessness. Oh, now you give a fuck? Sorry, what part of your dad's budget dealt with hunger and homelessness? Your dad was president for four fucking years. You do realize that, right? That he, that part of that hole that you think needs to be filled, he dug. Let's continue to help veterans, whether it be medically or getting jobs and reintegrated back to society. Yeah, we do that. We, we can walk and chew gum at the same time. We have a $26 trillion economy. Properly after coming out of the endless wars. Oh, who got us out of those endless wars? Who the fuck, who was it that finally pulled the plug and got us out? I mean, I know your dad wanted us to stay in Afghanistan forever, um, but who was it? Oh yeah, the guy I voted for. Can we? Joe Biden, the guy who kicked your dad's sorry ass. Are we even, are we even allowed to ask where this money is going and have a actual accounting? Yes, you have uh, representatives in government. You, that's who you vote for. And some of them are on the committee. And some of them can talk about it openly about certain elements of it, say the humanitarian aid and the like, and some of the military works. And some of it is uh, secret or classified. And therefore, they will get to ask them behind closed doors uh, in a non-public session for the safety of everyone involved, including your, uh, your, your fellow countrymen, if you gave a fuck. Of it. You know, not sort of the nebulous, oh, I don't know, and it ends up in a suitcase of some Ukrainian minister's wife uh, in hard-earned U.S. cash as she's crossing the border, as we saw a few weeks ago, with millions and millions of dollars. You mean in Afghanistan? You mean the money that that guy built up while your dad was president? Sorry, did, did, did the president of Afghanistan flee with less money? Than he would have if it had, if this had ended in the first year of your dad's presidency instead of the first year of Biden's presidency. I'm gonna guess no. Right. I think we've already sent 13 billion dollars to the Ukraine. Mm-hmm. But let's just keep printing money, right? I uh, well, no, we're not printing money. This is part of the internalized budget. We have these things for emergencies. It's kind of. I mean, I understand. This is the same. Yikes! That's fucking frightening. Looking good, buddy. Um. It. it it's, it's weird, but he looks like what Kirk Cameron thinks he looks like. Um, that, uh, that, that, those billions of dollars, by the way, we spent $51 billion just on Hurricane Sandy relief. Also, uh, Ukraine is paying, will pay us back with interest over time. I heard Joe Biden say that tackling inflation is going to be his top priority. Really? It is? So... Yes. In the midst of an economic downturn with energy prices through the roof. Through the roof. We're just going to keep printing money. Right? We're, no, we're not printing money. That's not how that works. Is it, did you see that the Fed just raised interest rates? They're buying securities. Hey, that's the one way to fight inflation, Joe. Well done. Who came up with that policy? Kamala Harris? Like, perhaps the only person more incompetent than Joe Biden himself? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's almost as if... I've been handing this script and I don't even know how to process the details in it. Where does the money come from? They don't even care. They're just spending it because it comes from you. Yeah, all of it does. Including the money that your dad, your dad got in tax breaks he didn't deserve. And the IRS has been after him to give back because he didn't earn a $79 million tax refund in a year when he claimed he made no income when he did. Your blood, sweat, and tears. Will it ever be repaid? No. Yes. No. Of course. Yes. Of course not. We made money on the 2008 crash. Yes. And by the way, it won't if you follow this asshole's advice and Ukraine falls. That's true. If, if we let Russia do whatever the fuck they want with the Ukrainian territories they're in right now and stop currently because we're kicking their ass and they're kicking their ass with our stuff is, more of, is a better example of it. Um, or a description of it, rather. But uh, if, if we stop right now and Russia wins, we won't see any of the money we did. This is, I mean, you could argue this is good money after bad if you don't give a fuck about people in mass graves, which you don't. Um, but, but that's just the basic truth. These are the favors that these people do for themselves. 
I, I have to remember to close my drapes. It will be repaid to the congressmen and to the generals uh, when they get their board seats at Raytheon to sell. <laughs> Why? Oh, because Raytheon would make money back on that because the United States government would actually make money on the on the Lend-Lease deal, for example. Notice the word lease in there. More missiles and start more wars and keep going. They don't. Yeah, you, easy, you fucking hippie. Like, all of a sudden, he gives a... Care. You're paying for it. They get to reap the rewards. Um, uh, by the way, um, for the record, uh, Russell Brand looks like shit. I, I'm not enjoying the new haircut. Yeah, but it's... it's I do appreciate him uh, not wearing the, uh, the torn, like, belly button v-neck. Russia's fault that we have an inflationary crisis. Not, uh, not the Ukraine, right? Uh, it's not the Ukraine, fucko. There you go. We've got a slip. It's Ukraine. It's a country. The Ukraine is what Russia calls it. Because they view it as a territory. By the way, this asshole taped this after Putin's address on May 9th. We have broken bridges, disastrous roads, homeless problems, uh, a disaster at the border, right? It would have taken... I'm sorry, Sarah, I will look for the cameo. Taking a couple billion, like three or four billion to finish the border wall and stop a humanitarian crisis there. But no way, we can't do that. Well, the problem is if they, they keep building on the wall, obviously uh, the wall was making it worse. We had a better, stronger border under Obama than we did under Trump. And there was no wall. And then once the wall got anywhere close to finished, according to Trump, it's finished. It's the extra part that is yet to be finished. Uh, it fucked everything up. But let's send 10 times that in addition to what they've already sent to the Ukraine. And to Ukraine, not the Ukraine. Maybe, just maybe if we're lucky, we can avoid nuclear war with Russia. Guys, to me, it reads as nothing other than Democrats trying to get their kickbacks in before they lose power. Dude, if... What good are fucking kickbacks... If it ends in nuclear war, do you think that's how the decision-making process, like, look how much money we're going to make. I mean, it glows in the dark, but still. Uh, it's absolutely... Uh, uh, this is one of the most pointless videos he's ever made. Other, I mean, it, this is simply just, like, fuck Ukraine. They're stealing from you, these fucking Nazis. ...sick, okay, and Joe Biden... Don't tell the American people that inflation is your top priority when you're printing money out the wazoo. To well, he isn't because uh, th that's not how the government works. Send it to this this clown show. Oh, it's a clown show. The the Ukrainians are a clown. Oh, he, he he doesn't think we're actually sending money to the Russian military, does he? That would have been his dad's plan. We're not implementing that plan. D Biden has a different plan. He tore up your dad's plan when he came in. The whole like, why don't we? fund the Russian military and then we'll fight each other and we can both make money on the back end, pooty poot. Um, that was your dad's plan. That's, we're not going with that. Enough is enough. Let's put- Enough is enough is enough, but don't never- Put America first. Let's maybe get baby formula for our children and our infants. Maybe let's turn our oil pumps back on instead of this insanity. Well, our oil pumps aren't off. And we don't have oil pumps. The government doesn't have oil pumps. We don't, we are not, we're not Venezuela. If you want to turn us into Venezuela, this, and now this asshole wants to nationalize oil and baby food. Fucking commies. But no, that's not going to happen. No, it's not because it doesn't ever happen. We don't actually turn on the pumps. That's oil companies. Maybe your dad probably golfs with some of these fuckers or used to, but when he was useful, now they have moved on. We all know it. Not while these idiots are in power. You'll find- Wait a minute. We all know it. N uh, not while the- What? The subsection- Hold on. <laughs> and... We all know it. Not while these idiots are in power. Okay, this- I- Honest to God. Uh... This is... The biggest chunk of gibberish from him we've seen in a good long while. I-, I uh, the, uh, the general premise is we shouldn't be sending money to Ukraine because we have a sh shortage of baby formula at home. And somehow that money would be better spent fixing that shortage without any mention of why there's a shortage 
or the fact that the money we're spending in Ukraine to help them is actually helping them save their own lives and their own country, which apparently he doesn't give a rat fuck about. No, no amount of money is going to make this private business in Michigan get their shit together any faster, apparently. This is what I'm talking about. Hold on one second. Um, uh, Michigan baby formula. Just see it. N not that this fucker has... Yeah, here you go. Um, this is from... Uh, where is it? I don't want to learn to find out. Here you go. Recall notice for U.S. and Puerto Rico. 228. This is when this happened. Abbott is voluntarily, uh, voluntarily recalling a lot of Similac PM6040 from this particular lot can and this particular case. Manufactured in Sturgis, Michigan because some uh, fuckhead with crabs from the uh, biker convention um, took a piss in one of the vats. Uh, this addition, uh, uh, sorry, this is an addition to uh, lots of Similac, Alimentum, and an Elecare powder formula that were voluntarily recalled on February 17th. So is even more of it. The action comes after learning of the death of an infant who tested positive for Chronobacter Sakazaki and who were informed had consumed Similac PM6040 from this lot. This case is under investigation at this time. The cause of the infant's Chronobacter Sakazaki uh, infection has not been determined. We want to extend our heartfelt sympathies to the family. Importantly, no distributed product has tested positive for the Chronobacter. This is actually additionally recent tested retained projects of these were tested negative. Um, by the way, they when they did it, like I said, they found uh, both of them present in the in the outer offices. Um, none of the product has tested positive for it, but it managed to get out there. It could have been on the like the plastic lid in it and all, whatever. Anyways, it's hard to say at this point, but that's what they're looking for. Um, how to check the lot number on your stuff, um, which recall and the other markets. This is just for stuff that went to US and Puerto Rico because this is what shipped out during that time. That's that's the story that's, uh, that caused this particular breakdown. There were other reasons for it, um, for this recall, and there's a big concern about, let me see if I can find it. Um, let's see. This is, where's, let me do the news on this one. Um, Daily Mail. Da, 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 da. Here you go. Um, this is the Daily Mail story. Why is biggest baby formula plant in the U.S. still shut down after three months? Abbott says plant is safe. And is not responsible for bacteria that killed two kids, but FDA refused to reopen it as parents across the desert struggle to feed their babies. Uh, slant much? Um, Abbott Laboratories claims its Michigan plan is not responsible for bacteria that killed at least two infants. Uh, you think they're going to? You think they're going to? Yeah, it was us. Yeah, I, we killed those two kids. Like, they're going to say that? You're going to? They're going to go, we, we found traces of that kind, but it's not that exact strain. And we don't think, and maybe not, and we're working to make sure. And yeah, yeah because they're, they're going to be liable for the deaths of those two infants, if it turns out to be true. So, of course, they're not going to say it in the fucking press. Baby formula manufacturer alleged an ed FDA investigation re revealed infant formula produced at the Sturge Village is not, not likely to be the source of infection. Abbott claims cl uh, products from the facility did not cause any bacterial outbreak. Um, the plant still remains closed despite the findings after shutting down in February amid a, pro a major product recall. Abbott says it's working closely with the FDA to restart operations at the plant as parents across the nation are struggling. Okay, this is... Uh, 10 May, 2020. This is the newest article. Um, the, let's see, da -da -da -da, plant was shut down for ne nearly three months ago after a bacterial infection caused the deaths and other serious, uh, um, there you go. This is the plant. That's the stuff. Um, da -da -da -da, tested positive for coronavirus, um, distributed to consumers, tested positive. Well, that they tested. That's the thing. Not all of it has it. No. Um, FDA and Abbott officials both tested retained product for the bacteria and yielded negative results. No, no trace of salmonella was found at the Sturgis plant. And the Chronobacter was found in environments testing during the investigation was in non-product contact areas of the facility. That's what I was talking about. They found it, but they didn't find it in the factory area. Because as soon as these reports got back, before they got a visit from the FDA, they did a fucking top to bottom bomb cleanup of the entire place. Because you'd be stupid not to. But it was in non-product contact areas of the facility. It was everywhere else. 
It was in the bathroom or it was where other people went, you know, on their breaks in the outer offices. The company alleged the trace of coronavirus at their plant have not been linked to the two available patient samples or any other known infant illness um, other than the fact that it's the same bacteria. Um, yeah, so nationwide out of stock baby formula hit 40% in April. Uh, Texas, Tennessee, Missouri, Iowa, North Dakota, and South Dakota, seemingly hardest hit by the shortages, reported out of stock rates at 50%. Um, concerned parents, because they're hoarding. That's why. Because uh, those are the states with fucking preppers in them. Fucking hell. So, uh, and again, in this one, let's see. Uh, there was another one. And, uh, consumer reports. This is a uh, recall. Yeah, so this is, there was an overall shortage anyways of, of some available stuffs. Here's what the FDA and the USDA says. Go away, Midland. There we go. A nationwide baby, baby formula shortage worsened by a recall of a Michigan healthcare company's powder formula continues. Some retailers are limiting how much customers can buy in a given transaction because in these red states, they're full of fucking preppers who don't just buy them for their babies. They buy them for to add vitamins and fiber and other shit to their regular food stuff so they don't have to store as much. And they constantly use it up on top of the fact that they stack it for other people because they think it's going to be uh, the powdered version is going to be fucking uh, currency after the fucking rapture during the trip, the tribulation. Um, as well as major drug stores as are limiting the amount, according to a report in Wall Street Journal, infant formula is a sole source of nutrition for many infants is an essential product. Uh, just 25% of infants born in 2017 were fed exclusively through breastfeeding in their first six months. Uh, throughout the pandemic, the FDA has been monitoring potential supply chain risks for this category of products. Da, da, da. The out-of-stock percentage, we saw that too, went from uh, hovered between 2 and 8% in the first seven months of last year, but it's been growing steadily since then. It's reached 23% in January, uh, and then there was the recall. During the week of March 13th, some 29% of baby formula products were out of stock at retailers nationwide, potentially due to the recall. Shortages are severe enough that, according to a report by in Detroit, a Detroit mom was forced to drive a family member to Chicago to buy her son's sensitive stomach formula. And that's the issue more than anything else, is that these uh, the stuff they don't keep as much stock on because it's um, for kids with digestive issues or hypoallergenic formulas and that kind of stuff. Um, that stuff is, they all, like grocery stores and places already stock less of it because there's there's less desire for it, there's less need for it. And so when they're when it there's a shortage, it hits that side extra hard. Um, which is again why you would want um the somebody to make sure that their the cupboards aren't bare in those particular situations. Um, although it's not even below 50% in a bunch of these places. Um So I was covering how many units have been recalled. Companies brands include some of the best selling baby formulas in the world. Okay. So anyways, that's why this is going on. This has nothing to do with money not being spent at all. This is because of limits of certain supplies. And then of course, this particular plant up until this plant was shut down, because it's one of the few places. And by the way, there's another way you could solve this as well, dumb dumb. You could open a company that makes baby formula. You could start one. Your dad could start with seed money. He could get his back together instead of forming some bullshit like Troth Social, Troth Sensual. He and one of these backs could start a baby formula company, you know, uh, you know, Trump goo or whatever. And like, Trump Gaga and and start a fucking plant to make it. If you gave a fuck. I mean, it'd be like a half a billion dollar investment. Isn't your dad worth $9 billion? I mean, if if Elon Musk can dump $44 billion buying Twitter, well, lose, I guess, 12 in the process because the price went down after he bought it at an acquired price. Um. Uh, if his deal even goes through where he might bail out on it, that's going to be interesting. Um, seemingly, for about a half a million dollars, you could start a company 
right? There you go. There's the, uh, by the way, this is your government um, working. If you have an infant and you don't want them to eat poison formula, um, they're, they'll, they're glad to help you out with that. I mean, I don't know how you run some sort of depopulation scheme to get us down to 40,000 people by making sure all the babies know which, you know, formula isn't poison. Seems like a, I, it's a hitch in their get along. There's a problem with that plan, the strategy. Um, but they're listing all this stuff. If you're feeding baby, choosing an infant formula, instant formula preparation storage, how much and how often to feed, download and print this handout to prepare and store powdered infant formula. This is how to how long to keep it. And it's available in Spanish, which is definitely going to make Tucker Carlson upset. Uh, here you go. See the CDC's investigation notice for an, uh, for an image that shows where to find these conditions. Okay. Ooh, okay. Coronavirus powdered infant formula investigation. This is, uh, there have been four illnesses, two deaths in three states, Minnesota, Ohio, Texas. There is a recall. The investigation status is currently active. This is where the lot number is and where it is. This is, your government does this with your tax dollars for everything like this. It's got, a, it's got a whole section on chronobacter. How, what do you think the chances are that Trump or anybody in his fucking circle uh, that he brought in with them was uh, would see this and go, what do we need? A, we got a whole fucking... How much money are we spending d cataloging different common bacteria? I've heard of salmonella. I've never heard of this shit before. Um, testing and treatment. What's in it? Where the code are. Advice for parents in... Caregivers, do not feed your baby any recalled powdered formula. I think that's a good point right out of the top. That's how they control you, though. They start with masks. Next thing you know, they don't let you feed your baby. Do not feed your baby. That's what I see. Look at this right here. It says right here on a government website, do not feed your baby. These monsters. These fucking monsters. I don't know what the rest of it says. But it says, I saw this thing on a government website. It said, do not feed your baby. It's true. You're my witness. <laughs> it was it was highlighted. I mean, I highlighted it, but still, it was highlighted. Come at me, bro. Um, let's see. If you can't find the code on the powder formula, do not use it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Parents of caregivers should never dilute powdered infant formula by adding more water than recommended and should not make uh, or feed homemade infant formula to infants. They had to do a whole big thing about that because in 20... 19, a bunch of people were feeding their kids homemade infant formula the last time we had a bit of a shortage. Not good. Um, I think there's a, how'd this bug get in here? This, it, there's like a little, it's all the popcorn. Um, it snuck in on the popcorn. Um, there it is. Then it goes, laboratory culture, description of cases, how it happened, four infants. Here's the, uh, with chronobacter infections in Minnesota, one, Ohio 2, Texas 1, consume formula produced Surgis Michigan facility before they got sick. Formula types included Similac Sensitive, Pro Total Comfort, Similac Advance, and PM6040. Infections may have contributed to the deaths of two infants in Ohio. CDC performed whole genome sequencing on chronobacteria isolated from the two available patient samples to compare them with the environmental samples taken at the facility to determine if there's any relation. At this time, CDC has completed laboratory testing for the two available patient samples. The analysis performed by WGS did not find these samples from patients to be closely genetically related to the multiple strains of chronobacter found in the environmental samples attained from Abbott's nutrition surges. That might be part of the problem. Closely related to the multiple strains of chronobacter found in the environmental samples obtained from Abbott Nutrition Sturgis, Michigan facility. So it wasn't even that. Like, they found these chronobacter infections, these multiple strains at this place, because they were testing to see if they matched. And they just found the place is infested. Furthermore, WGS showed the bacteria from available patient samples were not closely related to one another, so they're not the same strain to the kid, uh, kid to kid. During the course of this investigation... Collected additional product samples from the facility and FDA analysis is ongoing. Yeah, just because they got some of them doesn't mean they got all of them, especially since there are multiple strains at this fucking place. Um, received one complaint of an infant with salmonella who consumed infant formula from the Sturgis facility. However, there is not enough information available. That could just be from people adding milk or something else to it. Um, in the house, CDC informed that uh, single salmonella illness is not linked to an outbreak. 
Uh, it's talking, okay, about Coronabacter, how it can spread. Um, there you go. And basically, they're just trying to get this place cleaned up because the problem is it it may or may not have been the this particular strain that killed these two kids. But when they looked at the plant where they got their food from, they had multiple strains of this toxic bacteria in the plant. And it wasn't in the in the cooking area because they cleaned it up because the FDA, FDA was coming over. So, yeah. That's what this bullshit is about. This is and this is a legitimate problem. This happens in in every country in the world. You don't get to avoid this kind of stuff. Bacteria is insidious like that. Um, it's it's gross and it seeps into areas, kind of under doors and up into rectums. Do we still know what this thing is? Is this some sort of like prostate stimulating brandy snifter, something like that? Um, I don't know why he has... These are just frames bought from the same store with no pictures in them. 8 by 10 frames so he can put uh, fictional... Um, what do you think? Diplomas in them that he gets from Rand Paul's iSocket University? Yeah. But the FDA never pulls the plug on cigarettes. Well, that's different though because cigarettes, they make you aware that they're dangerous. You're a grown person and you can consume shit that's not good for you in life. That's part of being an adult. Baby formula is very different. I'm having a fun time with just letting it loose. Now, like, uh, well, not like I heard it. Powder would come out from the spray tanning. Right. Anyways, all right. We, we're well over. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, 